Hi there, about a year ago in 2022, I showed a video how you could use your iPhone and your voice to take a photograph. In 2023, this has now been updated and using iOS 16.2 or later and some of the latest iPhones, you should find this feature is available to you. Apple still haven't made it as easy as they should have done and you still have to jump through a couple of hoops to get to the situation where you can use your voice. But we're now able to ask Siri to take the photo for us, so long as you have pre-programmed a couple of things. And I will cover those things in the video. So keep on watching. My name is Helpful Phil, and I'll go through all of the steps one by one so that you can follow along and make sure your camera is ready to take photographs based on a voice command. So the first thing you'll need to do is to get onto your iPhone and there's a few apps that you need to be using. One is the settings app, the shortcuts app and the camera app itself. Let's firstly go into the settings app here. So in the settings, we need to scroll down to the Siri and search, which is just here. So touch on the Siri and search, and then you've got a few options. And one of them is to click on the listen for that particular command. And I won't be saying it today, so it won't be activating your Apple devices. You can get it to do that if you want to, or you can simply use the side button to activate it. The advantage of using the voice command is that you can leave your camera a little further away from you and get it to take the photo. But also it means that uh, you can have a longer time before you can actually activate the, uh, the photography side of things because with using the side button, it only lasts about five seconds and then Siri turns itself off. So there is a good advantage here in activating the voice command and the listening action. So once we have set those things up, we can come out of settings and we then go into the shortcuts menu. Now, if you don't know how to launch the shortcuts menu, you could always ask Siri to launch it for you. What we're going to do first is click on the plus button just up here to add a new shortcut. So click on that. And then what we do is we click on the add action button. And once we've clicked on the add action button, the best thing to do is go into this search area and simply type camera. By the time you've typed cam, it's likely to come up with camera just here. And then just touch that icon. And then it comes up with two options and we're going to touch the take photo option. And then what it shows here is it says take one photo with a particular camera. And then there's this little drop down arrow here. So I firstly want you to click on that drop down arrow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to toggle off this show camera preview. Through my experience, we've discovered that that actually prevents the iPhone from taking the picture for you and simply launches the camera but it doesn't actually take the photo. So we'll turn that camera preview off. The idea is that you would launch your camera app so you can see what you're taking before you then make the voice command. So then what we'll need to do is save it to a photo album. So it comes up for me as the top option. So we touch that save to photo album. I've found that if you don't do this, the action won't complete. So it seems to need to have somewhere to save. So let's do that. So touch the save to photo album. And I'm very happy for it to be saved in recent. So if you wanted to select a different album, then feel free to try that. So once we've done that, we are good to go. We can simply click on the done button. And then our shortcut is recorded and ready to go. So I'm going to launch the camera application and you can do that by asking Siri to do that or many other ways of doing it on your iPhone. I'm sure you know how you get your camera application running. So I've got that going 
And let me show you on the other screen what I've got set up here. So I'm going to go to the back camera. So it's facing this little guy and we will get Siri to take the photo for us. Shoot. Shoot. And now it's taken the photograph. It was quite silent for me, but you can see already that it's actually taken the, the photo. You can also see that there is a bit of a delay between you saying it and it actually being able to perform the action. But I'd say that is a success. We've got the photo taken. The routine is launch your camera application first, then you can come up with your magic words if you want to, and then say the title or the name of the shortcut that you've recorded. And of course, in our case, it was shoot. Let's do the same now very quickly for the selfie camera, the front facing camera. So we start on the plus button. We click on add action. We then type in cam for camera. Cam it says camera, touch the camera, and then we touch take photo. And then we go into this drop down here to tell it to not show a camera preview. Then you can click on the add button, save to photo album. Recent works very well for me. All we need to then do is go back up here to this little drop down button and we can rename it. So I'm going to call it take a selfie and click on the done button at the bottom of the screen just down here. And then we're going to go back up to that little icon arrow there because I want to give it an icon color which is going to be that and I want to give it an actual nice icon. I've chosen the first icon just there. We then go back up and hit that done button. Touch the back. We can change it to front camera. Let's make sure that this is off and it is. So now I can click on done and our word would be take a selfie. We've got take a selfie, which uses the front camera, and we can then see if that will actually take a selfie for and use our magic words, which is that. Launch the camera app. Take a selfie. And it's taken the shot. And there I am in shot having been photographed by the camera. So that proves that it all works for us. So if this has been useful for you, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit a like on this particular video. It helps to get it out there so people can understand exactly what they can do to get this up and running. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.